Taylor Swift lookalike that convinced fan singer was a time traveler comes forward to reveal identity. But such a high level of fame comes with a few drawbacks and over the years, Swift has been the subject of some pretty wild conspiracy theories. According to the internet, the 34-year-old is at the center of a military-driven plot to help Joe Biden get re-elected as President of the United States, and is a clone of a satanic high priestess. And that's just for starters. But one theory that's been circulating the web recently has been debunked after one of the parties involved spoke out. Back in November of last year, Swifties did a double-take when a Glamour Girls Dolls advert from 1981 resurfaced online. A Taylor Swift lookalike from an 80s advert convinced fans that the singer was a time traveler. Inside Edition. You see, one of the actresses in the ad looked just like the blank space singer. With Swift not being born until eight years after it aired, this led some people to believe she's a time traveler. One fan shared the ad on TikTok alongside the caption, This 1981 commercial is proof that Taylor Swift is a time traveler. And others commented below, I was like wait is that Taylor, and, wow it does really look like her. Sounds like her too. But any hopes for a real life back to the future type situation have been dashed after the real actress from the ad stepped forward. Addressing the confusion during an appearance on Inside Edition, Tony Hudson, now 63, was quick to clear up the rumor. Right here in the flesh. I did that commercial, she said. The Glamour Gals commercial was Hudson's big break, with her being just 19 years old when it aired. She has since had a successful acting career, making appearances in TV shows such as Knight Rider and The A-Team, and films like Just One of the Guys, 1985, and Assassin's Fury, 2023. Meanwhile, Taylor has just completed the first UK leg of her blockbuster, Era's Tour, which saw her perform at venues across Edinburgh, Liverpool, Cardiff and London. A number of famous famous joined thousands of Swifties at the gigs, including Paul McCartney, Nicola Coughlin and even the royal family.